have a conversation about the faith portion of my YouTube channel. And so it's about the other side of through. And what I mean by the other side of through, it comes from the scripture where Peter was walking on the water. The passage in uh, Matthew chapter 14 verses, uh, starting with verses 22. So Matthew chapter 14 verse 22. And it says, immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. And now, mind you, this is right after uh, he had, Jesus had fed the multitude um, with the two fish and the five loaves of bread. And so verse 22 um, says, immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. So Jesus is telling the disciples to get in the boat and go over to the other side. Essentially, he's going to meet them on the other side. Right. After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone and the boat that the disciples were on was already a considerable distance away from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. OK, so mind you, and we're going to unpack a lot of this stuff. But what I want you to see is, mind you, Jesus sent the disciples on the boat, told them to go to the other side and he's up on a mountain praying. And the boat is a considerable distance away from land and it's being, the wind is beating up against it. So they're in a storm, all right? Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, take courage. It is I, don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat walked on the water and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? Okay, so that was um, Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 through 31. What I want you to take note of is in verse 22, where he says, um, immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat, go on ahead of him, okay, to the other side. So ahead of him, so he's coming. All right, he's sending you through the storm. He said, I'm gonna meet you on the other side, and then we lose faith in the middle. Okay, the wind starts to beat us up, lots of things are going on. The bills are due, the, the somebody is sick, the car broke down. We're in the storm, got laid off, uh, we got a bad diagnosis. We're in the storm, but Jesus has already told us to go ahead of him, and he's gonna meet us on the other side okay that is very important that's where we come to with the other side of through blog and just some background on how i kind of got started with this um my, several years ago my sister had to have brain surgery i am a person of prayer i'm a person of belief and it's my uh, my mom is and so is my sister and you know how you pray and you believe that the lord is going to deliver um but you also try and figure things out. And so if there is a bill that's due, you know, you just need money to pay the bill. However, when she was having surgery, there was nothing tangible that we could do. Uh, we couldn't be in the operating room, of course. We couldn't do the surgery, of course. Um, we couldn't put our hands on her and say, hey, you're healed. None of that. None, none of that would work. Okay. All we could do was pray and depend on Jesus to guide the people in the operating room, to guide her back to recovery, to guide her not to have any complications. And that's exactly what he did. And I remember when they wheeled her to the back, uh, I got my mom situated out front with her best friend. And then I went in my truck and I just sat out there and I just prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. And I said, you know what, God, this is this because my sister has this thing that this too shall pass. And she said it. And I said, you know what, this time next week, we're going to be saying, y'all remember last week we was at the hospital um, getting ready and Finn was getting ready to go into surgery. And then after that, we're going to say, you remember this time last month, because it's going to be a month later. And it all happened around my birthday and my father's birthday. We we're three days apart in the month. And, and so her surgery was very close to that. And I said, you know what, then this time next year, we're going to say, y'all remember this time of last year? And now it's been so many years that I can't even tell you what year it was. Okay, so the whole point is we made it to the other side and we I saw myself on the other side, literally saying, 
Do y'all remember this time last week? And what I did not see, I did not see a funeral. I did not see complications. I did not see her in the hospital. When I said this time next week, we're going to be saying, do y'all remember last week? I saw ourselves saying she came home, surgery went well, all these things that I knew was going to happen. I just had to see it on the other side. And that's when this scripture came into, into play is because I knew from uh, attending Bible study that our pastor did, uh, he preached on the miracles of, of Jesus. And this was one of the miracles and I remembered it. And I remember the other side. And our pastor always says that there's people going doing three things. Either we're going through a storm, we're in the storm, or we're coming out of the storm. And so with that being said, guess what, y'all? We got to make it to the other side of the actual storm. So that's where the passage is coming from. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Hit the notification bell so you're notified when these videos go up. And I pray that you follow me. I pray that you find things helpful. I pray that you find this encouraging. And I pray that wherever you're at right now, whether you're in a storm or you're going through a storm or you're coming out, uh, that you are cognizant of your beliefs, that you're cognizant of your faith, and that you're continuing to share your journey with other people.